Hey everyone, welcome back, or if you're just joining us, welcome to KSSP Podcast. I'm Spencer. And I'm Katie. And in this, oh, sorry, you can. Okay. Today, we're going to discuss where your headspace should be if you're planning on using drugs and what your plan should include. So we're first going to start off by saying that we don't encourage illicit drug use, but we understand that people use it for various reasons and want to provide information to help people stay safe. So here are some tips for planning if you're going to use drugs. So tip number one is to make sure if you're going to use drugs that you are in a good headspace. If you're feeling uneasy, worried, upset, spiteful, etc., before you use, you're going to have a worse time and it may lead to you making unsafe choices. So tip number two is to always plan when you can. If you need a babysitter, set that up ahead of time, like somebody sober to watch you. Um, have all of the tools you need with you, including things like water, Narcan, you know, maybe food, like whatever kind of tools you need and try your best not to use drugs alone, especially drugs with a high overdose potential. And tip number three, it's best to pick one drug, but whether or not you choose to use more than one drug, it is especially important to slowly pace your use. Don't use too high of a dose at once. If you need to increase your dose, do so after waiting for about 20 minutes or so. If you choose to combine drugs, use them in even smaller doses than you would using a single drug alone. And tip number four, always test your product with an extremely small dose. Uh, If you have access to them, always use drug drug testing kits with your drugs you bought off the streets. Any drug bought off the streets can be laced, so this is especially important. The thing with drug testing kits I also want to mention, like, which is actually pretty awful is that in some states, at least, I don't know if it's all states or just some of them, but there are places where these drug testing kits are actually illegal. Um, You know, there are ways to get them, but unfortunately a lot of people don't have access to drug testing kit due to these laws. So yes, if you don't have access, use your start testing your product using an extremely small dose. And then we've got tip number five, know how to prevent, recognize, and help with overdoses. We will go over this a little bit later in the video, um, or in the next video, rather. Uh, When using opiates, always carry naloxone, a.k.a. Narcan. And then tip number six, final tip here, is to spread awareness to keep other people safe. If you're using with others, make sure you're giving them good safety information so that everybody can have a safe, fun time. And next, we are going to look at the National Harm Reduction Coalition. This is Safer Drug Use 101. Some safer consumption tips include smoke, someone smoking, Use a pipe, stem, or a bong. Make sure everybody has their own pipe or mouthpiece if you can. And if you're smoking crack, use a filter. So for snorting, you want to crush powder as fine as possible and make sure everybody has their own straw. Alternative, or sorry, alternate nostrils between hits. If you're swallowing drugs, pills or powder, uh, it says crush in thin paper or a drink. Um, but with some pills, you can swallow them whole. But if you are mixing it into a drink, mix your drink so you know how strong it is. And it can take up to an hour to kick in, so wait a while before consuming more. And booty bumping. Or boofing. So using a turkey baster or a syringe without a needle. Uh, use a turkey baster or a syringe without a needle. You can just pop the needle off of the syringe and avoid sharing equipment and get vaccinated for hepatitis A. And finally, with injecting, use your sterile syringes and gear. If you need to reuse syringes, wash them with cold water, bleach, and then water again. Also with injecting, 
this is just something I'm adding in here. But with injecting, do not use cotton balls to filter your drugs because you're going to risk cotton fever, which is a benign self-limited febrile syndrome characterized by fevers, leukocytosis, um, myogias, I don't know what that is, uh, nausea and vomiting occurring in injection drug users who filter their drug suspensions, which is the mixes of the drugs in the water through cotton balls. So you also want to understand risk, set, and setting. So the risk is the risk itself that you're discussing. Your set is your mindset going into the experience. And your setting is your physical and social environment. You definitely want to make sure you're in a safe environment. Yeah. And then also harmreduction.org has tips for injecting and preventing transmittable diseases from drug use. So make sure to check out their website for more tips if you are injecting your drugs. And join us in the next video as we go over different types of overdoses and how to manage them. And as always, you can leave a comment below if you have any topic ideas that you want to hear us talk about in future episodes. You can reach out to us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We also occasionally Twitch live streams, so make sure to follow us there so you can find out when we do. And don't forget to give this video a like, as well as follow or subscribe to our other social media accounts and turn on notifications there so that you get notified of future content that comes out of ours. Otherwise, we will see you all in the next video.